This morning, we continue our ongoing series, Ask It Early. It's a chance for you to ask our consumer correspondent, Susan Copen, some of your most pressing questions. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. We always like this, and we might as well get right underway, all right? Okay. We have a question that pertains to saving money at the grocery store. Hi, Susan. My name is Carla. I was just wondering, is there a way to get discounts on groceries other than clipping coupons in newspapers? Why? Okay. Well, first of all, let me say... If you want to clip coupons, 80% of them are found in the Sunday paper, and an average family can, can save about $1,000 a year clipping coupons. A year? A year. Okay, so you don't want to do that. You don't want to clip coupons. Right. Okay, we talked to the folks over at supermarketguru.com who gave us some great tips. First of all, when you go to the grocery store and you want to save some money, look down. Companies pay to put their product on the shelf. So the products that are right in front of you, right. they're paying a lot of money to put those products sure. there. But if you look down to the lower shelves, you can find some products that are cheap cheaper than what's right in front of you or what's up above. Wow. So that's one thing you can do. Okay. Check out price per unit. Sometimes it does not pay mm. to buy in bulk. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the medium-sized bag is going to be cheaper right. than the big bag. Sure. And also look in the frozen food aisle. If you're looking to buy some fresh blueberries and it's out of season, right. go to the frozen aisle. You might find them a lot cheaper than trying to buy them fresh. That's all really, that's really good advice. There you go. All right. Now we have a question about purchasing extended warranties. Hi Susan, my name is Thomas, this is Michael. Uh, we have a question, we're wondering if it pays to purchase extended warranty on merchandise you buy at the store. Man, people are, they're always trying to, yeah. now do you want to buy the extended warranty? And there's a reason why. They make a lot of money off of these extended warranties. Yeah. We as consumers spend more than a billion dollars a year buying these warranties. Mm -hmm. in, mo in most cases, we don't need them. Products are made well, they last a long time, and usually it's cheaper to just replace them or to repair them. Right. You should buy an extended warranty if you check the history of the product, say it has a bad history, it breaks down a lot, or it comes with a really short warranty, right. say only three months. Sure. But before you buy any sort of warranty, check with your credit card company. A lot of credit cards, if you mm. buy the product with the card, yeah. they will extend the warranty for you. They, and they back it up. And they back it up. Way to go. Love it. Now, someone has a question about credit cards. Um, hi, Susan. My name is Louisa, and I have a question. I wanted to know um, what consumers can do about the fact that a lot of credit card companies are systematically raising our interest rates uh, without us having any late fees or things like that. Um, what can the consumer do? Who can we complain to? We've been talking about and this she's a right. Lot. I yeah. mean, they're doing this a lot to a yeah. lot of consumers. Overnight. Yeah, even if you are a perfect customer and you pay your bill all the time. Mm -hmm. um, banks are trying to lower their risk and increase their profit. Sure. That's why it's happening. Terms and conditions on the cards, they say we can change your rate at any time. Right. So what can you do about it? Well, you call the, the credit card company and you say, I want you to put my rate back to what it was. I want mm -hmm. you to lower it. Mm -hmm. If they say no, you say, okay, I'm going to shop around. And there's car, there's websites <laughs> like low, they don't like to hear that. No, lowcards.com gives you a list of more than a thousand credit cards and it shows the terms and conditions. It shows the rates. So you can look to see what all the cards are offering oh, and, and shop around And so when you're on the phone, way. you can say, I'm going to so-and-so. Exactly. Right. And Congress is taking a look at this and looking at mm -hmm. bills that are going to protect the consumer. And very, very quickly, one last question. Hi, Susan. My name's Adrian. Is it more economical to keep your appliances unplugged when you're not using them, like your toaster oven or your coffee pot? Yeah, yeah that, that is, whole thing about turning off your power strip. This is vampire right? power. Right. Five to eight percent of all electrical use mm -hmm. at home is from this standby power where something is plugged in sure. but it's turned off, like your TV, your yep, VCR, yep, yep. your cell phone. Computers. Yeah, exactly. So to uh, eliminate that, plug everything into a power cord at the end of the night, click it Hit off. Hit the power strip. We spend about $7 billion a year on phantom power. <sighs> wow. Yeah. I didn't know it was called phantom power. Yeah, vampire power, phantom power, right, standby well, power, whatever could, you want. Could be a musical.